Hello everybody, and welcome to something I've been more or less talking about for quite a while now. And that is... Wait. Ooh, everyone gets that. Cool, I'm glad I started this now. Um... But yes, this is going to be effectively a what is the new player experience for an experienced veteran, an experienced new player going to be like. Now, down here. It's further away than I thought it was. I have notes. Because there are various lines that I want to focus on. It's also a bunch of uh, armory ships I want to try getting. I I've basically filled out a page of stuff that I very much want. As well as figuring out commander builds ahead of time. So I know what I'm doing. And this is also going to be Adventures on the EU server. Because I've heard I hear there's more players over here. Maybe not during my time zones, but you know, probably enough. Now, I believe of all of the tech trees, the one that I want to start with is actually the Japanese one. Because there's more of it that I want to go down than anything else. Because quite simply, that's just kind of what I want to do. So let's, uh, let's do our first battle, which is going to be... Insanely easy. Wow, we actually start in the ports. <laughs> we fit! <laughs> now, there's probably going to be a lot of editing to this series, so there may not be proper outros. Ooh, this feels like a tutorial mission, actually. Because this isn't a normal map. That's a nice change, at least. It's hard to resist just hitting F10, but there's no point hitting F10. Um, yeah, we have a nice 4.8 second reload, nice little guns. There's not much to say about the Tier 1s, other than this one battle will probably get us out of the Tier 1. So... I'm surprised there isn't more to this. I was going to ask if the bots are stuck, but they just... Don't appear to be accelerating. That one might be stuck. Oh no, there it is, starting to move. Now, as time goes on, the various things that I'm interested in will become more apparent. But I will say there are three tech trees in the uh, Japanese line that I am interested in. Wow, these bots can aim. That's a shock. It's also a lot less ping than I was expecting. I was expecting consistently in like the few hundreds, but this is this is perfectly reasonable. I dealt with worse internet just connecting from Honestly, it's not even so much connecting. It's just simply I dealt with worse internet before. Ah. Uh, I'm old enough to remember worse internet. The bots are using chat commands. Oh, that's adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Now, I'm not I'm not really sure what all I can say about this this battle so I'm not even sure how much of what is going on now you guys are even seeing because let's be real what can I even say about this the Hermelin has armor I can say that Like, a lot of my decision-making is not gonna be conducive to, like, regular battles. 
because in a regular battle I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. There we go. Almost got all five kills. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> First battle completed. Yeah! We can now research a new ship. Heck yeah! Now, I had considered... Level two unlocked. Now you can research yeah, and cool. Ships. We can... we can research and enhance ships. To unlock the next access level, play two battles. But, um... I had considered grabbing, like, a recruitment buddy link. But, I want to go through this as if... I'm a complete new player, not understanding that is a thing. Just Chikama. We can now see the tech trees, which there is a lot. Like, there's a lot. This can be very overwhelming for a new player. And in general, just don't go past tier 4 for a while. Just keep yourself in tier 4s. You'll thank me later. Um... Oh man, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, let's uh... Let's take Chikama into a few battles. I'll have a little more to actually talk about here, and this should actually be standard co-op. So... That will be nice to see. Yep. Hey, look at all them players. Look at all them Chikamas. I keep forgetting that Chickama does not have torpedoes. It does have four guns, with an 11.5 second reload. But a lot more damage than what we just had. So you might think it's a downgrade, but no. No, in fact, this is quite the upgrade. I'm gonna try to, like, resist the urge to just mash F10. I just went to hit F10. I don't want to give away that I'm, exper I'm an experienced player. <laughs> I want to potato this up a little bit. Um. Yeah, th there's not a huge amount to really say here either. Um, these first few battles are going to be less than eventful, would be the best way to put it. But, at the same time, like, they are important to go through, because, well, you kind of have to. And these are part of the new player experience. Not gonna lie, I do wish that you could get into randoms faster, because, like, these, the, this endless co-ops is a little... It's not exactly endless, but the sheer amount of co-ops is just a little much, in my opinion. But... New players got to learn how to aim. The The funny thing is, there's probably, like, almost no actual new players here. Like, we've already got someone in a clan here. There's one. Go, my little pop guns. I missed. <laughs> Great start. I am not used to these low-tier guns, in my defense. There we go. As should be decently obvious, guns get better as you go up in tiers, so... Yeah, you can see how much worse these bots are at aiming. There's a fire that it'll probably immediately put out. Yeah. And by the time I'm reloaded, it's already able to be set on fire again. I should really shoot at the Samson. I'll get more XP out of that. But, but you know, it's on fire again. I missed. 
But with the armor piercing, which might actually be a little too much. Especially at this range, but... Who can say, really? Yeah, it's a little too much. Good old over-penetrations. Nah, even trying to use the water doesn't work. <laughs> okay. That Samson's being pretty rude. Oh, my engine's knocked out. Oh well. It's not really gonna matter. I should probably fix it though. I... I'm gonna try not to judge other players. This is, you know... This is probably their first day ever playing the game. Okay. Spots on fire. Let's get, uh... That rear turret swinging around the other way. It's the engine again. <laughs> Just this pair of chickamas left. Now, you'll notice I'm more or less attempting to aim for the central portion of the ship. That is because of a mechanic called damage saturation. Basically, um, parts of your ship have hidden individual HP values. And the bow and stern of your ship have generally the least. So you really don't want to be just pumping shells into the bow or stern of something all the time. Because you're not going to get a huge amount done doing that. What you want to aim for is roughly upper belt slash center mass. Depending on um, what kind of guns you even have. Sometimes the bow and stern is all you can reliably damage. And that's what you should be shooting at aside from the superstructure. Decent little result. That person's played ranked? What? Okay. Man, I completed the tutorial mission. Yeah. Now I gotta play one more battle to unlock randoms. <laughs> um... There is some stuff in the news, but I'll probably just claim news goodies at some other time. Um, got us closer to uh, destroyers, which is a line I do want to go down. So, and it leads to more lines I want to go down, but so does cruisers. I'll stick with just this for now. I can I can start moving towards the stuff I want to do later. Um. Okay. Might have more to do in this one. Maybe. I do want to get into a destroyer decently soon, though. Because for those who might be experienced players who are wondering what tech trees I'm prioritizing, mostly it's ones that I've barely touched on my main account, so I don't get completely sick of playing. So those being the British battlecruisers, the French battleships, which I have played a lot, but I just like them. Uh, the British heavy cruisers, the Japanese torpedo destroyers, the Japanese 
carriers, the American submarines, and the Japanese light cruisers. Those are the main tech trees I'm going to be looking into. Because, well, as mentioned, most of those, aside from, like, French battleships, I've basically never played on my main. So... What are you doing, little man? Hello. Romulus is way too freaking fast. <laughs> that is the Euro DD, right? Yeah. Ooh, that V-25 is basically stock. Man, if only I could get, uh, ribbons. Because that would have been a close quarters expert. <laughs> caliber of my guns? 152s. I might be able to do something funny here. Let's get my AP loaded. <laughs> Over pens! <laughs> Curse you, thin armor! There's some full pens. This one's too close, so they're about to ram. Basically, British light cruisers have so little armor this is German, but tier 2s also have so little armor that I'm pretty sure 152s overmatch them basically everywhere, which is a fun introduction to the mechanic of overmatch. Um, it's a bit of an advanced mechanic that I was, I'm going to probably wait to explain in full once I'm actually in a battleship, because there's not much point explaining it before then. Well, this is problematic. Are we really going to lose this? I don't have many guns. It's part of my problem here. There we go. I just bought us some time. I'll buy us a little more. Okay, as long as that Romulus stays spotted, we basically can't lose. As long as I don't stop shooting at it. Because I don't trust teammates. <laughs> Okay. Crisis averted. Time to farm down some Battleship St. Louis. I know that's the cruiser icon, but that is Battleship levels of HP, and St. Louis actually has armor. So I think I'll actually load the AP here. I'll probably get more done. Well, not if it angles in like that. Well, that's not terribly angled.
The Romulus is gonna torpedo it. If you play a lot of co-ops, you will learn to hate destroyers. The Romulus missed. Maybe not destroyers that are that bad at aiming, but... There's some nice full pens going on. Overpend. He's slightly too close now. There we go. This is probably one of the weakest tier twos. But hey, decent credits. I mean, we're making a decent little bit of credits from these battles. We now have access level three, which means random battles have been unlocked. To win a random battle, which will mostly be out of my control, but, you know, does this add torpedoes? It doesn't. It does double my gun count. That'll be nice. How is that only a plus four to the artillery? It's doubling the gun count. Research. Purchase. Ah, guns! <laughs> I'm gonna hop over here to random battles. I will probably change my port at some point. I don't mind the anniversary port, but I don't like being underwater. It's underwater. Now, this is probably going to be basically still just co-op. Because until I have played, I believe it's 200 battles, I will be, or go get into a tier 5, I will be in a protected matchmaking spread. Where there will only be other new players, or new accounts, in these battles. So that's why I say to stay below tier 5. Just stick to your tier 4s and lower. Like, I am the only actual player here on this team, and there is one destroyer on the other team. So basically, Sim, uh, Sim City there is my primary target. But I am going to move to support A. Because he might be down there. This is so much gun. Man, am I glad to have this much gun. I may also do uh, Spanish heavy cruisers as well, I feel I should mention. Like, there's a lot of things I might do. A lot of things I might not do. Um, I might start down a tech tree and decide, you know what? I really just don't want to do this tech tree anymore. Okay, it feels like all of the bots are actually going to go be... So I'm going to turn around and go B. It is nice having a rudder shift. Um, you should always, when upgrading your ships, prioritize the B hull or the upgraded hull if there is one. If there isn't one, in general, I'd say unless you plan on keeping that ship, just go for the next ship. Don't waste your time trying to, uh, get, uh, I don't have the range. Things like the range mod and such. I missed attempting to aim with the minimap. It's not the easiest against these small little destroyers. I landed near it. Got a defended ribbon. That's worth some points. Okay. There's my target. 
If I can take him out, this is basically a win. That's gonna be the problem. Unless he's just gonna sail right out here. I want the kill. Mine. Is he gonna beach? Almost. Hmm. I don't want to go chasing him. That would be a very bad idea. Just gonna stay here and farm up some damage. I really should have gone A. Okay, he is coming back. Kind of. Nah. French no armor. Really wishing I had torpedoes on this thing. Because then I could take out the Kawachi without much effort. He is still my primary target. Because again, actual players are better than bots. <laughs> so I've left him pretty much limping at this point. Oh, hi poor Jackson. Um, I should probably load the high explosive. Yeah. It's just too close. <laughs> it's kind of the problem dealing with these low tier ships, is they just don't have armor. If I were to hit that thing in the right spot with high explosive, I'd probably score citadels on it. That Jurian is like just kind of going. With luck, maybe I'll get that kill. Nah. Just kind of hoping my first random battle I'd get a Kraken. There's still a chance. I mean, there is enough of them left. Take a shot at him again. I missed. There we go. This is basically in the bag now. Now I just get to farm up some damage. There's my first confederate. <laughs> I 
Ooh. Ooh, I say Meta. Ooh. They might be far enough away from my armor piercing to do work. Okay, does Jiren have torpedoes? No, it does not. Probably also has no armor. Nope. Okay. Ah! Go, go, gadget secondaries? Aw. Yes! <laughs> Double Strike Kraken unleashed in my first random. It's against bots, but I don't care, man. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad. Like, you know what? <laughs> Be complimented, my guy. <laughs> you... You did not realize <laughs> what you were in for. Oh, jeez. I'm almost at access level 4. It's like... pretty far along for the access level I actually kind of care about, which is 8. So... That's gonna take a while. There's a lot of battles between now and then. Actually, how many battles between now and Axis Level 8? It'll tell me. Nine battles! Okay, that's not so bad. Um, I've probably done enough for this to be a single episode. Um, I'm almost to the point of being able to research Tenaru. <laughs> feel like I should grab Umikaze, because I can probably research into that. Um, yeah, I'll do that before I end, possibly end things off here. Don't think I want to spend the silver there. But I will, however, spend it here. Now, we have 5 kilometer torpedoes and we're detected at 5.4. These are a priority. These are a priority. Um, but that'll be a priority for next time. I thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow for probably more World of Warships. Or it might not be tomorrow, but it'll be next time. There'll be, there's gonna be more of this. See y'all then!